Good evening, it is Wednesday, March the 1st, about 11.15 p.m. This is Shay Gibson with iKiteSurf and Wind Alert, bringing you a wind forecast for the Tampa Bay area this weekend. Aaron McLernan of Elite Water Sports is going to be putting on a big air contest sponsored by Woo, and we're going to try to figure out the best day to do this. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Here's this website right here that I'm showing on the initial screen. We'll take a look at iKiteSurf. Let me move myself over here over the Bahamas real quick and we're going to dive right in and take a look down into the Tampa area and right now we have a, a just a light generally light westerly flow before we get into this map though and look at the models I want to take a, a peek because it looks like we have a northeast gradient building Friday and into Saturday for the Tampa Bay area so we'll look at the GFS for this and one of the concerns that Aaron expressed to me was that he was he was worried about a little bit of rain coming into the area well if we run the GFS this this starts tonight and this goes right on into, this is by Friday morning. We get into Friday about afternoon, about 1 o'clock p.m. Here's that high pressure. This is what's going to start this northeast wedge down into the Tampa Bay area. Now we're going to have some of this residual troughing from that residual cold front to its south. That's going to create this gradient in here. So we're going to see the wind start to come up Friday in this area and then last through Saturday. Now as time goes on, we see that high pressure moving across to the north. That creates more of an easterly gradient in time. This is by, let's see, Saturday morning right here. So this is about 1 o'clock a.m. High pressure stalls out just over the Ohio Valley, and that's kind of good because that's going to actually enhance the wind field pretty much for the day on Saturday. It'll keep that east-northeast wedge going through the area. Uh, so Friday looks like it could be a little bit stronger. And we'll look at the models in just a second, the uh, the higher-scaled models in our iKiteSurf app. But that, that's pretty much it. This high pressure up here is going to be driving down this northeast to east-northeast wedge down into the Tampa Bay area. Now as far as uh, rain is concerned, if we look here, we, see, we don't see a whole lot of rain. And, and that is because it looks like the backdoor front that's going to be dropping down to the area uh, will dry out. The high pressure is going to be strong enough at 1,044 millibars way up here with a lot of dry sinking air down into the back side of that boundary. Looks like it could dry it out. So in fact, here's the, the weather service. Uh, out, outlook for this. Here comes that initial cold front that stalls and creates that troughing in the area and here comes the high pressure to the north. Now here comes that backdoor front. This is by Friday morning at about 7 o'clock a.m. and as time goes on you see this this backdoor front dropping down towards the, the Florida, northern Florida area and then it just sort of dries out. So it looks like it's going to be rather weak. You may have some spotty uh, a spotty shower to some, mainly some clouds overhead, but I don't think rain is going to be that much of a concern or storms, not in, at least until we get into maybe Sunday or Monday when we start to get more of an east-southeast flow. So let's go ahead and take a look at iKiteSurf for the area. We'll go, we'll go with Sunshine Skyway Pier for the forecast models on this. Uh, really any point in the bay is going gonna, is gonna to do pretty well. Uh, we'll go to all details and sort of look at this together here. Let me go ahead and select all again. And I'm going to zoom into this. <clears throat> now, as we get into Friday, we start to see the northeast. All these models are starting to line up for this northeast wedge to sort of build into the area. And that's by Friday morning, 7 o'clock a.m., even earlier than that, 3 o'clock a.m., when you see the, the wind speeds start to rise. Now, some of the mile, a couple of the models do keep it a little, a little bit on the lower end. But I think for the most part, when you get high pressure to the north set up with a trough, uh, you're going to see these higher numbers. So here's Friday um, by 11 o'clock a.m. We may see these ups and downs, especially with a little bit of sunshine and clouding. If you have a little bit of in insulation from clouding, it may uh, prevent these speeds from coming up. A little bit of sunshine popping in and out, it probably increase the gradient. So you see a little bit of ups and downs with these models. As we get into Saturday, we see uh, that they sort of plane out. Now, you, you see these lower models here. I'm not really going to bet on that. I'm going to bet on the higher model. In fact, this brown one is a, the Wave Watch 3, and that tends to do a little bit better with these northeast wedges down in that area. I'll go with a higher number, somewhere around 18, maybe even to 20 to 21 knots as we get into Saturday morning. Now, the models do show a dip, and that may be just due to some of the sunshine and some of the daily heating of the day. It's sort of knocking the speeds down, but as we get later in the day, cooling uh, over the warmer bay waters, we may see that wind come back up. So this is really far out to, to tell between 1 p.m. and 5 p.m. with this sort of uh, scoop in the winds, but I think it'll plane out just fine. I think we'll probably get up to about 18 hold, maybe even get up to about 20, and then gradually pick up as the gradient increases with the high pressure setting up to the north. As we get into Sunday, uh, we start to see speeds kind of fall off in the afternoon. So morning time has the most potential sometime between 9 and 11 o'clock a.m. according to these models. But you also see that the winds lean a little bit more east, which there tends to be less of a gradient 
with that. And if we go back to the GFS model, I'll enable the 10 meter wind and we can sort of take a peek at this. So let me go back to 42 hours. This will be Friday morning. I'm sorry, Friday afternoon. And then as we go into Saturday morning, you can see the gradient building down here. Let me go ahead and zoom into the southeast region. All right, so there's the gradient right there, and you can see the high pressure straight to the north. As we go further in time, though, to, into Sunday, the high pressure sort of goes out into the Atlantic, and even central high pressure drops down over the Carolinas, sort of towards the Carolinas. That tends to weaken the gradient, so this could be exaggerated. I'm not saying it won't happen Sunday. It just tends to weaken the gradient on, on the east to east-southeast flow uh, with this kind of setup. So we'll have to watch that very carefully. You can see the winds falling off by Sunday p.m., so that's always something to watch. Uh, I think for right now, if I were to go with one of the weekend days, it'd probably be Saturday just because the gradient looks like it could be the strongest on the east-northeast flow, biting down into the backside of that backdoor front that drops down to the area. You get a tighter gradient. Uh, as the high pressure moves further east out into, into the Atlantic, that gradient tends to fall off by Sunday. So we'll, we'll go with Saturday for right now, but we should probably wait till tomorrow or tomorrow midday to afternoon to make the final call on that. And I'll be updating and looking at text or, or sending a text uh, forecast update to this to uh, help out. So take a quick look at the temperatures for the area. For Tampa Bay, looks like we're gonna get a little bit on the cool side for this weekend so Friday Saturday here's Saturday and Sunday 74 and 76 degrees so a little bit on the cool side with that northeast wedge uh, pushing a little bit of cooler air down into Florida uh, sea surface temperatures for the area let me go ahead down into the Tampa Bay uh, area looks like we're right around 74.1 degrees that's that's the old port Tampa we also have 72 degree or, I'm sorry water temperature 73 degrees at St. Pete's Pier and 73.9 in Port Manatee. So basically about 73, 74 degree sea surface temperatures or water temps in the bay uh, to couple with almost exactly the same air temperature. So about even keels, the spring suit weather for sure. And I think that'll do it for this edition of the wind forecast with Tampa Bay area for elite water sports, big air contest. I'll be back one tomorrow to update with a text. Thanks a lot. See you soon.